Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! There's a chest I missed back here just before I dropped down that waterfall to fight Omega. Let's check out this cave here. I, it was on my list, I just forgot to show it to you. And this chest contains another coral ring. Not that I care. And this pathway over here leads to the other side where that save point was. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the or go to the next save point at the castle area in the cleft of dimension where we got a huge boss gauntlet coming out. Okay, we've made it back down here. We've got quite a few bosses around here. See all those old guys there? Well, they've just gone batshit crazy from being in there so long. They're just running around like madmen. No, no. They're all bosses. Uh, they're all the same boss. So I'll just demonstrate one of them and then off-screen killing the rest of them. So let's start with one of them here. Altaroids. They're kind of like Altoids, except you die. No, no, just a ordinary boss, 6,000 HP. x fights the way to go, immune to death, immune to gravity attacks, so let's just finish him off there. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. With Sildra! Yeah, that's the way to go. Got him. Uh-oh. Now let's see if I can get this to work. Now, Alter or Jura Avis, what it morphs into is... Uh, let's get the Avis killer going. Uh, it's still susceptible to gravity attacks, so that can work, but... Well, I just didn't get lucky enough, I guess. But yeah, being an Avis-type monster, obviously use the Avis killer bow. Interestingly enough, you could also steal... Well, you can get a turtle shell. That wasn't really what I was going for. You can also steal a dragon lance, which will let you deal more damage to, well, dragon-type monsters, say, with your uh, dragoons or something. Which could be very useful for an optional boss coming up soon, if you know what I mean. And since there's six of these guys, you could get six of those dragon lances right here if you wanted to. I'm not going to take advantage of that, but if you wanted to have an easy time, that's one way of doing that. So now I'm just going to clear out the rest of the bosses here, and I'll be right back. And get a dragon fang. Okay, so I cleared out all those old guys in this cell and the one in the lower right. So let's see what the treasure they were guarding was. Red shoes, that is for the dancer. That can boost your, uh, what is it, your chance of getting the sword dance, like the Lamia's Tiara. Or the rainbow suit, that does the same thing. It's just a different, you know, wherever you equip it. A different article of clothing, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Where have I seen that guy before? It looks like Krang's evil twin brother. Basically, my preparation for this battle is essentially float on everyone and equip everyone with wall rings, and he basically can't do a whole lot. He's immune to death, and and gravity attacks, so eh, just use whatever my most powerful attacks are. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Make sure you got gold pins equipped. I suppose I could use quick, but let's make this at least somewhat interesting. But anyway, as long as you have float on everyone, he'll try to use gravity 100 to remove float, and the wall rings will constantly reflect it. The reason I need wall rings is because... Uh, I can't get Carbuncle up fast enough. And I couldn't just cast a float on everyone after casting Carbuncle because it would bounce off of it. There we go. That was a pretty easy boss. Let's rescue that lady in that cell there. Not much of a catastrophe. Oh, yeah, and I want to remove my wall rings now. Hey, I just saved your life from that uh, evil monster from Dimension X. Hey, hey all right. A real reward for a change. Well, hey, where are you going? Stop playing hard to get. Wow, she's fast. Better find her. We could go in that castle there, but I don't want it yet. Not just yet. Instead, I want to fight these guys. Fury! They are susceptible to level 5 death, so or level 5 doom, depending on your translation. And uh, they're immune to gravity attacks and instant death, but 
level 5 Doom bypasses all that, so we're quite fortunate. Okay, come on, hurry up. That is one thing about X-Fight. It does take a little while for it to actually get things going. Bartz doesn't have the bone mail equipped, right? I really hope not. Yeah, I got rid of Combine because I figured, well, I, th I think Dimension Magic's more useful right now. Instant Death really isn't doing that much now nowadays anyway. Or it certainly won't in the near future. Let's go over here instead. To the other side. Break on through to the other side. And we get a Maneater Knife. The second best knife for the Dancer Job class. Deals twice as much damage, or, well, critical hits always, on human-type enemies. So that could be useful. Right about now, as a matter of fact. Uh, the guy in the back there is Bodyguard. You can steal the best katana in the game from him. Uh, oh, what is it called? Well, just a moment. <laughs> I'll look it up eventually. As soon as I get a level 4 quarter going. Uh, I believe the bodyguards are also susceptible to it. Yes, they are. Just trying to look at my bestiary and the game at the same time. Or I could just use level 4 quarter. What is, oh, it's called the Tempest Katana. At least in this translation, that's what it's called. But yeah, it's the best katana in the game. It doesn't have the initiative of the Masamune, but it's still pretty good. Let's see where this takes us. Huh, I can't open it from this side either. That's weird. I thought I could. Well, uh, whoa. what's going on? I better adjust my setup before moving forward. Let's try that one again. Ah, uh, it didn't work. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Oh, something like that. Uh-oh. Good thing I got plastic lips! What was the name of that guy from Get Smart? Oh god, even I'm not old enough for that one. Uh-oh. It was one of x -Death's minions. She was coming on to us the whole time. Or just trying to... Whatever. Anyway, this is Halicarnasso, immune to gravity, immune to instant death, all the good stuff, so we just gotta kill her the old-fashioned way. Nuts. Okay, black magic. I equipped that just for this battle. That was one of the changes I made, so we can untoad ourselves. Crap. Uh, well, good thing I got plenty of those maiden's kisses from that, from doing all those dream kisses. There we go. Uh, none of the level X spells will work, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I suppose I could have used Combine for this one, but I felt that having uh, White Magic and Dimension Magic uh, is more important at this point in time, just, just in case. You never know. I mean, bad things can happen sometimes. Okay, well, I'm done with everything there, so... Oh, I suppose I could have used uh, Big Guard. Well, I suppose I don't really care. This boss isn't really all that dangerous. We survived the kiss of death. I think we can survive, you know, whatever other spell she has. I wonder if Quick will stop the counter on the curse ring there. Apparently it does. I guess. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> How do you like meteors on your head? How about you have some more? Mmm, meteors taste good! Ha! Got her. That's what you get for trying the kiss of death on me. Okay, well now that we've gotten past her, I want to, uh... Oh, we get an elf cape. Yay! I want to, uh, rearrange my setup back again. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's see what's on the roof of this place. Oh, the entrance to... Well, the real entrance to the void. The center of the void. Whatever it is. Now, for this boss fight, I've equipped... Well, Bart's with Slash. And everyone with Flame Rings, obviously, as you can see, because I survived that attack. Now, you don't want to use physical attacks against Quintania, because it'll counterattack 
with, uh, what is it, Tidal Wave. So that won't work very well. Now I'm basically going to be using the same strategy that I use against Carbuncle. Wait for me to lose my target here. And now it won't, like, totally lose my target. You gotta look at the flashing there. When you get a weird flash, like it, there we go, got it. You see how it, like, stopped flashing for, like, a, an instant there? That means it switched form. So it's a little different than against um, Carbuncle there. But once it switches forms, then you can just use instant death, like, or gravity instant death, like Odin or Slash, things like that. It's weak to holy elemental spells, but I'd rather just cheese my way through the boss fight. So what awaits us in the center of the void? Is that where X-Death is? Can we defeat him with the legendary weapons that we got? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.